Do you ever wonder why only a very small percentage of people actually ever make any money? And, and I'm not talking about becoming like Jeff Bezos or Bill Gates rich. I'm talking about having enough money so that money isn't really an issue, where you can have a really comfortable life without worrying about money. Well, in this video, I'm going to tell you why, and I'm going to tell you how to fix it. So let's get to it. The reason that most people stay poor, it's, it's actually pretty simple. It's the system. The whole system is designed to keep you trapped. So let's look at how to beat the system so you can play the game on your terms. But before we learn how to do this, the first thing you've got to do is pay worship to the YouTube gods by smashing that like button like a boss and hit the subscribe button too so you get more free advice too. Well, to make you more money. You see, here's the problem. Think about it. From the first day at school, it's been drummed into you to work hard so you can get into a better secondary school. Then it's work hard, study, so you get good grades to get into a better university. And then it starts again, work hard in university so you can get a good job. And then when you do eventually get a good job, it's work hard so you can get promoted. <laughs> it's never ended. It's a cycle, a cycle designed to condition you to work hard for someone else while just paying you enough to keep you dependent. The education system, where we all start, is designed, it's designed to teach you not skills to be successful in life. You taught the skills you need to work at a job. You're conditioned to work for somebody else. The system, well, for use of a better word, the system is rigged to keep you dependent. Schools, they teach you how to work for money. They don't teach you how to make money work for you. Now, while I'm ranting on here, you may think that I'm some kind of educational nutcase that's opposed, opposed to education and hard work. I'm not. Far from it, totally the opposite in fact. Education is good, it's powerful. But it's only powerful when you put it to good use. And it's only worth anything when you learn the stuff you can use. I believe in learning what I can use and then applying hard work to it. If you want to get on in life, it means effort. I always put in 100% effort in whatever I do, but when I put in the hard work, I like to be getting all the benefits from my efforts. If I put in 100% of the work, well, I want 100% of the benefits. It's, that seems fair to me. The problem is, is that most people are, are too busy making a living to make any money. They're stuck because they can't get off the wheel. Only you can fix it. No one's going to do it for you. The magic money fairy ain't going to make money appear for you. It's your duty. If you want to get on your life and you don't want to be struggling for the rest of your days, you've got to fill in the gaps of your education with skills that the system has failed to provide. And we're talking basic common sense business skills, like money, like how to handle money. The system never teaches this, but let me tell you, having no money can be a real trap. I know. I've been there. When I got married, I had nothing, no money. I managed to scrape just enough money together to put down a deposit on our first house. And it was a small house. It was run down. But it's all we could afford. We couldn't even afford to buy carpets. The only th one thing that I wouldn't do, even when things got tough, I wouldn't use high interest credit cards to buy things that I couldn't afford. This is another thing that's designed to keep you trapped. I interest credit cards, and it's even worse now, these, these payday loans, the interest rates on these loans are obscene. These companies, they prey on the poor. They circle like sharks, and the minute you get sucked in, you end up in this endless circle of constant borrowing, and that's only going to make things worse, a lot worse. As you borrow more, your credit score, it gets worse. And when that happens, the only places you can borrow from are these high interest lenders. Like I say, it's designed to keep you trapped. The only sustainable way to afford a better life is to earn more money, period. You've got to stop playing the system that's designed to keep you broke. We live in a world where there's an endless number of people and companies just waiting to prey on people who are desperate to change their life for the better. I mean, you've only got to spend an, an hour or so on the web and I guarantee you'll see some guru offering a fast, surefire way to endless riches. They present this amazing opportunity that you can run from a beach by working just a couple of hours a day. And then they construct their, their online image. They construct it to be very appealing. They paint a picture. They're, they're on video next to a Lamborghini, which they've rented for a day. Or they show off some big house, which they don't own. These people really wind me up. 
The fact is, many have never run an actual business at all, at least not in the true sense. Ask yourself, if what they're teaching, if it's so good, why are they not doing it themselves? I mean, if you had some surefire way of making money hand over fist with very little effort, you'd want to keep it to yourself. You certainly won't want herds of people descending on your marketplace, would you? One thing that I've learned by being in business for over 30 years, if something seems too good to be true, you know what? It likely is. Now, don't get me wrong here. There are some products being sold that do offer real value and are really worth making sacrifices for. But before you think that you've found the answer to all your money problems in a solution that seems amazing, do your own work. I sell online. I sell online courses. I do consultancy. But right up front, I make it very clear that it's hard work and that it takes time. I'm very transparent about the amount of effort required. So how do you break the system that's designed to keep you stuck? Well, the first thing you do, well, you've already done it. You've learned that the system is designed to keep you down. All you've got to do is stop playing the game. The only way to stop playing the game is to change your mindset. Stop thinking about buying all the stuff that you don't really need. Buying the latest iPhone or some fancy clothes just because it will impress your friends. Start thinking about you. Start thinking about your long-term goals. Think about where you want to be in a year, five years, ten years from now. You've got to build yourself milestones and come up with a basic plan to achieve your goals. And then start small. Start with your short-term objective, your one-year goal, which should be to build a solid foundation on which to grow. If you've got short-term high-interest debt, before anything else, you've got to get rid of that. And you've got to make sacrifices in the short term. But let me tell you, it's going to put you in a much better position to increase your wealth in the long term. You've got to get out of this vicious cycle. And you've got to be prepared to make short-term sacrifices to get long-term success. So go through your credit card statement, your bank statement, and all those little monthly subscriptions that you have that you don't really use. You know, the $8.99 a month for a music service, the gym membership you don't really use, a, a movie service that you don't watch. Now, it may seem like a drop in the ocean, but every dollar you can save is a dollar you can use as leverage to make more money. Saving money, watching what you spend is a good start. But you can't save your way to becoming a millionaire. The only way you can build real wealth is to earn it. It's far easier to earn an extra 10 grand a year than it is to save 10 grand a year. So start a side hustle. Even if you just made an extra $27 a day, I mean, that's not hard, but that's another 10 grand a year that you can use as leverage to take you to the next level. And there's endless ways to make money, extra money each month. We live in a time where it's never been easier to make money without even leaving your home. When I was young, which I know was a long time ago, the only options we had required real physical effort. I used to go out at the weekend valeting cars. I had a side business that, of all things, made baby clothes. I bought and sold gardening supplies. This is what I did to build up revenue to start a full-time business. It gave me the basic business skills and revenue to become successful. And now you can sit at home with a laptop and make money. There's endless opportunities. If you have an existing skill, use it. If you're good at English, you could proofread. If you're good with numbers, you could do bookkeeping. If you're creative, you could design graphics. You don't even have to find the customers. Just sign up and offer your services on, say, Fiverr or Upwork, and the customers, they'll find you. There's people on there now looking for people with your skills. And I've actually done a video where I list some of the easiest side hustles that you can start right now, today. And I'll put a link below. Now, I've mentioned in one of my other videos about my son who, who started a side hustle a few years ago, and it's still going today, still earning him revenue today. Brings him in around 100 grand a year. And best of all, it's passive income, which means he doesn't have to do a whole lot to keep it going. In fact, I'd love to hear your ideas for side hustles. I love seeing how creative people are at finding ways to generate revenue. Let me know in the comments what your ideas are, what you'd like to do. And it really doesn't matter what your educational level is. It, it doesn't matter how much you get paid each month at the moment. This really doesn't matter. In fact, I'd say that people are in what I call the semi-comfortable position. They're in the worst position. They've got just enough money coming in to meet the bills, to pay the rent, make the car payments. It can be real hard to jump out of that comfort zone. 
The problem being semi-comfortable is what's keeping you safe is keeping you stuck. When you've taken control of your outgoings, then you have to increase your income. But you've got to be smart about it. The number one rule in business, well, in life really, is never have a single point of failure. If you've got a job and for whatever reason you lost that job, you've a problem. If you rely on just one point, it's going to fail at some point. It's always smart, even in business. In fact, especially in business, to have multiple income streams. So, look to increase your income. Start a side hustle. Learn a new skill. In fact, this should be your very first investment. You should invest in yourself. For less than $50, there's a host of skills you can learn that, that will make you money now and will serve you for the rest of your business life. So instead of wasting your time watching mind-numbing TV, pop over to Amazon and start buying books that will equip you with the skills to make money. Years ago, I bought a, a couple of books on copywriting. I only paid about $15. But the skills that I learned from those books, they've made me a lot of money over the years. They gave me the tools to craft emails and sales copy to sell anything I wanted. Now, something else that you've got to pay attention to is the people that you associate with. You should be constantly looking to align yourself with like-minded people. Don't go surrounding yourself with people who don't have a positive outlook. You become a product of your environment. Now, one huge part of my success, it ain't down to my ability. It's down to the people who I've chosen to become associated with. People who I can learn from. People who will give me sound advice. People who can open doors for me. You see, building relationships with the right kind of people, it takes time. So, the sooner you start the better. Now this all may seem like really basic advice and you know what? It is. But don't think that just because it's simple it's not powerful because it is. Getting these fundamentals in order it's going to give you working capital that you can use to invest. Maybe even start your own business and become financially independent. It will improve your credit rating. So if you do need to borrow later you can at a far lower rate. And then when you're ready to move to the next stage in your plan You'll have the money and the business connections to make it happen. This is how you break out of the system that's designed to keep you trapped. Well, I hope you've had some enlightenment from this video. If you have, smash that like button like a boss. While you're at it, punch the subscribe button too. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye for now.